Welcome to the Big Bang Basketball Channel. Today we're going over the topic, is Giannis or Jokic the next face of the NBA? Kindly subscribe and enjoy the video. Being the face of the NBA means more than just being the best player on the court. It also means leading basketball globally in terms of politics, religion, and morality. It entails having the hordeness of Twitter users and members of the media scrutinizing every action, word, and utterance. Most significantly, it entails developing a personality and identity that are not wholly your own. The so-called honor entails both duties and benefits. So with this personality trait, can Giannis or Jokic become the NBA's new face? Let's start by briefly going over how their careers began. One of the most popular players in the NBA at the moment is Giannis Antetokounmpo. In the 2013 NBA Draft, the Milwaukee Bucks selected him with the 15th overall pick. He has come a long way since his rookie year, winning the Most Improved Player Award in 2017 with game averages of 22.9 points, 8.7 rebounds, 5.4 assists, 1.6 steals, and 1.9 blocks. Additionally, he led the Bucks in each of the team's five statistical categories that year, making him the first player in NBA history to finish in the top 20 in each one. The two-time NBA All-Star is carrying the Bucks on his shoulders, and Giannis's ability to have an impact on the game in all areas is crucial to the team's success. Early in the season, Giannis has three 30-point games after a brilliant start to the NBA 2018-19 campaign. On the other hand, Nikola Jokic, a center for the Denver Nuggets of the National Basketball Association, is a Serbian professional basketball player. He is a four-time NBA All-Star, has made four All-NBA teams, and has won the NBA Most Valuable Player Award twice in 2020-2021 and 2021-2022. The compilation of highlights from Giannis Antetokounmpo and Nikola Jokic. Giannis Antetokounmpo, 40 at Boston Celtics, December 4, 2017. 40 points, 9 rebounds, and 4 assists on 58.3 shooting. The Bucks were on the road to play the Boston Celtics after defeating the Sacramento Kings at home thanks to a strong performance from the Greek Freak, who scored 33 points. The Celtics had a 20-4 win-loss record prior to the game and had a hot start to the season. Giannis energized the TD Garden crowd by slamming down a thunderous shot during a fast break to start the game. Not only that, but with 7 minutes and 55 seconds left in the third quarter and Boston leading by 19 points, he added another dunk over Aaron Baines. He finished the game with 40 points on 14 of 24 shooting to go along with the 9 rebounds and 4 assists. For the Celtics, Al Harford and Kyrie Irving combined for 52 points on 21 of 34 shooting, and the hosts cruised to a 111-110 victory. Nikolai Jokic, Denver Nuggets versus San Antonio Spurs, October 22, 2021. The Denver Nuggets began the 2021-2022 NBA season with a 2-0 record after Nikolai Jokic led them to a six-point victory at home against the San Antonio Spurs on October 22, 2021. The Serbian center finished the game with 32 points, 16 rebounds, 7 assists, 3 steals, and 33 minutes played. Jokic was extremely effective in the game, making 14 of his 19 field goal attempts, with the exception of 6 turnovers. He also made 2 of his 3 free throws, as well as both of his attempts from beyond the arc. Nikola Jokic's game score on basketball reference was 31.7, which was the highest of the season for him turned around with the ball in midair, leaped, and made an incredible block on Aiton as he attempted to dunk the ball. Giannis's reaction time and the ground he covers in such a split second on this play were incredible. It instantly became one of the most iconic blocks of all time and is a play that will be remembered forever in Bucks history and NBA history. Nikola Jokic, Denver Nuggets versus Portland Trailblazers, November 14th, 2021. Including contests in the NBA playoffs, Nikola Jokic has faced off against Damian Lillian and the Portland Trailblazers in some pivotal games. He had a great game on November 14, 2021, 
to help the Denver Nuggets defeat the Blazers, who were playing without Lillian. Jokic finished the game with 28 points, 9 rebounds, and 9 assists in just 27 minutes of action as the Nuggets thrashed the Blazers by a score of 29 points. Nikola Jokic had a strong start the night with 5 points, 6 rebounds, and 7 assists as the Nuggets quickly took control of the game and won it 33-18. Giannis Antetokounmpo Giannis Antetokounmpo's 40-point performance in Game 7 against Brooklyn, June 19th. This was the game and moment that changed Giannis' legacy. It was the biggest game of his career up to this point, and he delivered big time, putting up 40 points on 15 of 24 shooting with 13 rebounds and 5 assists. The Bucks trailed by 6 at halftime before Giannis put up 16 points in the third quarter to give them a one-point lead entering the fourth. The Bucks, of course, went on to win the game in overtime to advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. It wasn't pretty the entire time, and that's part of what made this performance so awesome. Giannis airballed a free throw in the first half and then again in the fourth quarter, and the crowd was letting him hear it. But Antetokounmpo pulled himself together and put up a legacy performance that got the Bucks over the hump and put them on the path to winning the championship. Nikola Jokic, Denver Nuggets vs. Miami Heat, November 8, 2021 In a game that ended up being the point of a scuffle between Nikola Jokic and Markeith Morris, the Serbian center had a dominant night for the Denver Nuggets as they beat the Miami Heat 113-96. Before Nikola Jokic was ejected with 2 minutes and 39 seconds left in the game for pushing Morris in retaliation to a hard foul, he dominated the Miami Heat. Jokic put up 25 points, 15 rebounds, 10 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks in 33 minutes of play. When Nikola Jokic was on the court on November 8th, the Denver Nuggets outscored the Miami Heat by 14 points. The Serbian made 10 of his 14 shots in the game and made five of his eight free throws. 3-2 Three series lead back to Milwaukee for a potential closeout of Game 6. Giannis Antetokounmpo Giannis Antetokounmpo's 50-piece in Game 6 to win the finals July 20th. There was little doubt what the best moment of the year was for Giannis Antetokounmpo. It was Game 6 of the NBA Finals with the Bucks one win away from winning their first title in 50 years a title that Giannis dedicated himself to winning for the city since the day he arrived. Things seemed fairly normal at halftime. The Bucks trailed by five and Giannis had 17 points. Nothing too crazy. Then the third quarter happened. And Tatakumpo put up 20 points in that quarter alone, tying his record from game two for the most points scored in a finals quarter in the past 25 years. He went a perfect seven for seven on free throws in the quarter and it was quickly becoming a special performance and a special game, with the Bucks up one heading into the fourth. Giannis checked into the game in the fourth quarter, and with 9 minutes and 45 seconds remaining, and the Bucks leading 84-82, to he proceeded to score 12 of the Bucks' next 16 points, putting the Bucks up 100-92, to and the rest was history. With 9 seconds remaining, Giannis made a free throw to give him 50 points for the game the sixth most points in a finals game by any player in history. He had 14 rebounds and a remarkable five blocks to go along with the 50 points, making him the first player with 40 points, 10 boards, and five blocks in a playoff game since Shaq. It was a perfect ending to a historic playoff run for the Greek freak. 2021 was a special year for Giannis. It was the year he became an All-Star Game MVP the year he became a finals MVP, the year he became a champion, and the year he cemented his spot as an all-time great. Thanks for watching. If you have watched this video till the end, you are amazing. If you want to watch more amazing videos like this, kindly subscribe and click the like button to become part of our family.